So now we're going to make a dual hub mover. Okay, so I have two hubs like this uh, for the rear and for the front. Okay, so for the front, I mean for the rear, it's already located at the rear, right? For the stock. So we don't have to modify the rear. And what we need to modify is the front. Okay. So as you will see pointed here because this is only a hole okay. so if you put it right there you will only have a small clearance okay so we'll have to uh, grind this part a little bit okay so that it won't touch this part of the hub okay so now we're going to cut here. Okay, so if you take a look at the hub and the front fork, uh, there is kind of um, a thick uh, chunk of metal here that doesn't allow the fork to go in. Okay, so unlike the other side, it's it doesn't have that here. Okay, so you can just put the fork. side it doesn't because of that uh, big chunk of metal there okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, remove the stator and then uh, we'll grind this because if we cut here it will make the um, front suspension brittle and uh, might uh, break when you ride it I mean it would be in I mean you'd get into an accident so we're going to grind this both of the sides so that it will uh, go in like here okay. like that. okay so let's remove the stator first and uh, grind it Okay, so I've grinded it and um, this is how it looks like. It will look like once you're done. Alright, so I can't find any washer that would uh, be able to fit here. So I just uh, drilled the hole here on the suspension. And uh, I also drilled the hole here. Through here is the um, uh, screw or bolt for the hub. And uh, all the way through to the other side, right there. For the other side, we need more space. Uh, we need more space here since uh, we won't be able to tighten this nut. And um, okay, so we'll figure that out. Okay, so for us to be able to um, tighten this nut on the uh, left side or on the side where. The, uh, on this side, uh, we'll, uh, we will try to carve out some okay, some of the uh, material here so that we can tighten the bolt right there. Okay. So what I did is um, I centered punch um, some 
of the parts here so that we could tr uh, drill it using a uh, 4mm drill bit and uh, yeah after that we will use the uh, uh, rotary tool that we have a mini grinder uh, to sand the um, some parts so that we will be able to smooth it out okay so uh, let's start okay so I'm done drilling holes and we'll use a larger drill bit so that um, the other side will be yeah, removed um, some of the parts here okay Next step is to modify the battery so that it will fit on our bag here. So this is a 5 liter bag that we're going to use uh, for the controller and the battery. Okay. Alright, so I'm done changing the orientation of the um, cells. And this is what I've come up with. Um, and this will fit in our bag, a uh, 5 liter bag. It's done. And we just need to put it right inside our bag. For the wiring dun uh, uh, controller, I mean the throttle, uh, what you will do is to connect uh, these two buttons, uh, this button here to the um, other uh, throttle, okay? So you will connect uh, these two, uh, two lower parts right here to the other uh, switch right here. Okay, and the lower part. So these are the two wires that we'll be using, and then uh, we'll put it here. Okay, so that if you turn it on or either of those, uh, they will both turn on at the same time. Okay, and then uh, for the um, for the uh, throttle, uh, what you will do, uh, what I did is to. Uh, remove or cut the other wires here okay. so I remove the um, hall sensor here uh, on the throttle and um, what we will do is to uh, connect the uh, orange wire that's the signal for the throttle and uh, we're going to connect it to the others uh, to the other throttle on the same uh, leg of the hall sensor so that uh, when we push the throttle on the other side the other uh, controller or throttle will also receive that signal 